What's up, Lancers? Welcome to Season 2, Episode 31 of Sunny Side Up, our weekly news broadcast showcasing that Lancer life here at Sunny Hills High School. I'm Justin Chung. And I'm Katie Ortega. Happy Friday. How did you all enjoy CAF's testing schedule? More importantly, how did you all enjoy that start of April? It's been a minute since we last updated you on our Lancer news. Did we have you fooled? Of course, the Sunny Side Up team wanted to have a special surprise for one of our favorite holidays of the year. So make sure to check out Episode 30, our April Fool's episode, out now. This week, though, we will be going over our wonderful weather, sports, arts, and Link Crew news. I'm excited about the warmer forecast coming up. Take it away, Owen. Thanks, Katie and Justin. Hey, Lancers. What's up? I'm Owen, your favorite Fullerton weatherman. We saw quite a lot of changes in the weather this past week, including some rain tomorrow. This Sunday to the next is cloudy weather, day after day. The temperatures will stay between a high of 73 degrees and a low of 50 degrees until Wednesday. From Thursday, the temperatures will remain from 52 degrees to 79 degrees. Well, that's all for weather this week, but I have one more joke to tell you. Lancers, why did the cloud apply for a job interview? He wanted to make it rain. <laughs> Fortunately for us, though, we won't be seeing any rainy weather for a while. Stay tuned for next week's weather with me, your favorite Fullerton weatherman. Back to you, Katie and Justin. Thanks, Owen. It's really exciting to see our usual California warm weather coming back. I'm starting to get excited about summer. There's only seven weeks until school is over, Lancers. I know, but our athletes sure are making those seven weeks worth it out there on the fields. We have so many things going on with sports, so take it away, Nathan's, with the news. Hey, guys. Welcome back to sports. We have a lot in store for you guys this week. On Monday, boys golf played against Troy and won. Great job, guys. On Tuesday, golf played again, and baseball played against La Habra. Wednesday was a late start, and softball faced up against Troy at 3.30. Thursday held a wrestling fundraiser at Pyology. Hope you guys were able to get out there and support our Lancer wrestling team. Finally, our baseball team once again went up against La Habra today, with our softball and volleyball teams playing at the same time. Good job to all of our Lancers for competing so well and showing our Lancer pride. Today I'm here with Thomas Rodriguez, coach of the Sunny Hills Powderhoof team. Thomas, you've been on the basketball team as well for a total of four years. How have some of the skills you've learned through basketball contributed to your coaching? I'd say throughout basketball, just learning and going through the program, experiencing like all the coaches and how they talk to the players and everything and communicate with them, just really helped me understand like uh, and work on my communicative skills with uh, players here and just overall better them. I could definitely see that. What's been your favorite part about teaching your fellow classmates? I'd say my favorite part is being uh, being able to uh, come out here and coach with my, my uh, old teammates and have fun together. And I'd say overall, just communicating and uh, being there to support the team. And how confident are you in this team, and what do you anticipate the most in the upcoming game? I'm extremely confident in this team. We practice really hard. I think it's going to be a great game, and I think we're going to be able to take home the W. That's it for today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I feel like we're going to finish off this year stronger than ever. Especially with that hype at prom last Saturday. I know, I had so much fun dancing, seeing the fish, and hanging out with friends. It truly was a night to remember. Let's check out how prom went for our Lancers at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Wow, that was a fun night. I know, but you know what else was fun this week? What is, Katie? Getting to see the long-awaited Adams Family play with our amazing theater production. Talitha and Michael can totally give us all the news and updates about what COFA is up to. Take it away. I'm Michael Amesqua. And I'm Alex Murray with this week's COFA News. The Drumline and Color Guard Showcase is Wednesday, April 17th. Make sure to show up to give your support to our wonderful performers. Following the Drumline and Color Guard Showcase, April 18th and 19th, hold our Dance Spring Concert. Come out to support the Lancer dancers as they take it to the stage. Finally, the Adams Family Play has its last shows tonight and tomorrow. Make sure to buy your tickets now at shhstheater.com before it's too late. That's all from us this week. Stay tuned to find out about more information about upcoming COFA events here on the Hill. Back, Back to, to you, Katie and Justin. Justin. We appreciate it, Talitha and Michael. 
I know that Link Crew has some news and information up here on the hill. Let's check it out with Carlos. Hey Lancers, it's Carlos. I'm back with some more Link Crew updates. We're having a lawn chair lunch on Friday, April 19th. Bring your lunch, lawn chair, blanket, and a friend and come chat with your Link Crew leaders. Hope to see you there. It's hard to believe the year is almost over and we're looking forward to reminiscing on your freshman year. Additionally, Link Crew interviews are coming up and I wish all of you who applied good luck. Back to you, Katie and Justin. Thanks, Carlos. It's always great to hear what's going on with Link Crew and sports on the hill. Well, that's it for this episode, and don't forget that on April 25th is the 2024 Sunny Hills Lift Up. As always, don't forget to stay tuned for more of our episodes and subscribe to our YouTube channel for any upcoming live streams, recaps, and more. I'm Katie Ortega. And I'm Justin Chung. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the sunny, sunny side. side.